Okay, so front end update. So I'm gonna go through a list of some awesome things we've done. Some of this will be uh, repeats from, because the back end and the front end are obviously working together. And if anybody has any questions, we can take those questions at the end. So here's just a couple of the awesome things we've done. We're now using system fonts, which means that we're using the natural fonts that come with your operating system. Instead of loading external fonts, um, which take up space, we have saved a lot of extra kilobytes, and I personally think it looks fantastic. We also have manual actions on the pipeline graph, and so you can you know, act on the pipeline graph itself. Uh, we have Docker templates, um, that you can choose from in a dropdown. And we have direct links from the pipeline list to bills. So these are just some of the things we worked on in the last release. This is a huge one, the uh, build log. We improved the scrolling experience. So uh, now you can actually use the build logs quite easily. Um, it's a much better user experience. Um, and we obviously have the shorter line lengths for issues and merge requests. And that makes the issues and merge requests much more readable and uh, visually more appealing. We had this awesome community contribution um, that uh, took some um, work, but we got it in. Uh, thanks to the help of uh, Sean and Dawa, we were able to uh, get this in. It's a really cool feature that provides KTEX support. So you can see that you um, write some uh, formulas in uh, LaTeX and it actually renders it. So here's uh, some of the problems that we have solved or uh, things that are work in progress that have solutions and things that we're currently solving. Um, so right now we have real-time data being used in multiple places. It has not been um, deployed yet anywhere except as the uh, notification that comes in on the merge request page. But we do have real-time data solved as a problem, which is a fairly complicated problem. You can see here, this is a work in progress for the issue page where the title is being updated. And then somebody viewing that page will get that update in real time. Uh, accessibility um, is something that we are also currently working on. It's a huge issue, um, but for people who are using screen readers, uh, we have, uh, as just three of the many things that we've done, we have updated the tab index so that when uh, somebody is tabbing to different fields, uh, they will get the right thing highlighted. And we're using more semantic uh, HTML to make sure that screen readers will read these properly. And we're working on testing things on actual screen readers so that we know that when they're using the screen reader, they're getting what we thought they were going to get. Um, we have some JavaScript bloat, uh, which we're currently working on, removing uh, different libraries. We have a lot of jQuery libraries that just don't need to be in there or they're being used very little. And so we're removing those as well. Uh, CSS bloat, thanks to Annabelle. Annabelle uh, took the entire last uh, release and went into our CSS and organized it because our previous method was just to write, or the method that a lot of people were using is to just write CSS and plop it on. With the rest of the CSS, Annabelle organized a lot of the stuff and she's still working on that. Uh, as well, which will make our development time much uh, quicker because most likely people don't write, need to write CSS anymore because the components have already been built. So this will save us a lot of time. So there's a couple of problems that we need to solve that we are looking to solve. Um, one of them is pages with lots of data. So this is a performance uh, specific to the front end. Uh, this looks like a completely fake graph, but it's, it's real. Uh, and it shows us that on one particular merge request, um, and the linked merge request is not the merge request pictured here. That's a merge request that is solving some of the problems listed here by Fatih. Um, but you can see that there is something close to like 35,000 nodes, individual elements on the page, and over 4,000 listeners. So obviously, with event delegation and different techniques, we can solve a lot of these problems. So the roadmap for the front end, we have a lot of real-time things coming up, so real-time issue updates and uh, merge request approvers. We're working on implementing Webpack, which will allow uh, the front end to have a similar thing to the back end where um, you know, the front end code, uh, the libraries that we use can be loaded 
uh, dynamic, they don't have to be included with the GitLab library itself. We're improving accessibility and we're also improving our CSS. This is uh, part of our roadmap uh, going forward, at least for this release.